Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. For those who are new to my channel, my name's Elaine. I'm the owner of What LBE. All right, y'all. So, how y'all doing today? <laughs> today, tonight, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so, I came out here to show you guys this easy uh, gift concept, what we call our uh, Christmas tea mug set, mug gift. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna call it. Instead of Christmas tree, Christmas tea mugs, a mug gift. Um, and what I'm doing, I'm using are, um, it's like five items. Well, it could be kind of technically four. Two of them are the same thing. I just need extra. Um, but anyway, one of the mugs. Uh, these are my Dollar Tree mugs. I get a large quantity um, every year. I haven't had to buy any, any of them this year uh, because I'm trying to utilize what I do have on hand before I go purchase more. Uh, but I like to always use these mugs in some type of gift concept. Um, I mean, honestly, the sky's the limit. You don't have to do this gift idea that I'm doing. I just want to do, bring something different to the table. Um, I'm not going to do 12 million of these. I'm just going to do a few to just, you know, sparsely, you know, put out throughout my table and um, sell them accordingly, okay? Um, and what I mean by my table, I mean my vendor vents, okay? So, anywho, um, using the uh mug as the base um and then uh, the double items that we're going to add are um some tea bags um now these are gingerbread joy tea bags that i actually got on clearance at walmart um for a dollar box um i wish i could have found a whole lot more because they, they marked down a whole lot of tea um but unfortunately i couldn't find too many of uh boxes of tea but i am using two of these um, because of the size of or the height of it, I need to use two boxes instead of one. Um, also, to hold the tea, I'm using my little cone here that I just so proudly made with a piece of cardstock paper. <laughs> Listen, gotta do what you gotta do, honey, because I ain't from nothing to go by no, but uh, because you could get like those cone uh thingies from um, Dollar Tree, you yeah, know, grab some if you got some cardstock or something you know in that nature grab that rock and roll okay all i did was basically fold it that i got it to the point of it being a cone and we just worked it till we got you know like i said till i got it to be a cone and then once i got it to be a cone i just basically taped off my tip opened up my bottom boom bam thank you ma'am we taped it down i cut around the bottom of uh, the base because uh it was a little bit longer than i needed it to be because listen i'm trying to i'm not trying to add 15 boxes of tea to this but i do want to make it nice and tall um so that's the reason why i'm not doing a lot of them anyway so i'm taking one of my boxes is going to go in there because i need them to know the ingredients and the date and the expiration and all that good stuff um, so I'm utilizing one of the empty boxes. I already have a piece of um, transparent tape down at the bottom. And we're just going to slide that box in there just like so. So this is going to be the base. Um, my toppers to the uh, Christmas tea gift will be these little bowls that I got from Big Lots. I mean many, 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 many years ago. <laughs> <laughs> these things were 90% off which means they were 20 cents and I bought a buttload and I have just been periodically just using them or sporadically I don't know how you want to say it but anyway I've been just using them over the years um, this is what the little bowls look like um, I didn't want to do like pool bowls or anything like that because I'm actually hot gluing two of these bowls back to back one on each side and one on the other side to make my topper for my Christmas tea gift set. <laughs> so anyway, let me make sure y'all can see me. Bring this camera down just a tad bit. I need to see upon you guys. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so I think I want to try to open this up just a little bit more because I don't feel like it's wide enough to go over the tea box. So, I'm going to bring it open some more. There we go. See, I want it wide enough to go over so I can tape the sides down. Because as you can see, if you don't tape the sides down, that's what's going to happen. 
and I'm just using some transparent tape. Alright, gotta give me another box out. For my small roll. Uh, a lot of you asked me about my tape dispenser. It came from Amazon. Um, and I think I provided that in one of my videos. But I'll definitely make sure I provide it in this video because I don't want to change it just yet because I'm trying to get the rest of that off. So let me use the rest of this up first and then I'll change it out. Alright, so let's make sure they're straight, honey, because we don't want no crooked Christmas tree. we in there all right so uh, next thing is I'm gonna open up my um, tea bags sorry I should have had this already done all right y'all so I got all my tea bags out um, and I'm basically just gonna go through let's swap places with the hot glue gun because I don't need that just yet um, basically I'm gonna go through and just add my tea bags starting in a row um, and I want it to where it drapes over the front of the mug. And we have an ending, but we need to use both pieces of it. Alright, swap this out real quick. Alright y'all, so as you can see I've already started the base row um, and then where there's an open space, that's where I'm going to lap the next row on to. And I'm also going to bring it up a tad bit higher. And I'm just going to keep this going all the way around. So y'all stay tuned. I'm just going to keep on going. We're going to speed this process up so y'all don't be sitting there watching me tape one piece by piece by piece by piece in slow motion. Okay. Alright y'all, so as y'all can see, I pulled out the Lazy Susan because I don't know what I was thinking trying to do this thing and turn it at the same time when I could have easily just pulled out my Lazy Susan and just turned it so easily. <laughs> but anyway, I've made it to the top with a little bit left over. Uh, and I got a gap right here. So we're going to slide one in there. Apparently, I guess I missed the spot. Alright. Um, so anyway... I got it all ready, all set. Um, now it's time to add on my bows. Um, like I said, I left a piece at the top just for me to be able to hot glue because I don't want the hot glue on the um, the tea bags. 
and I'm trying to make sure my bow lines up with the center of the mug. I'm not going to put any words on these mugs, honey. they just going to be going just like they are. Um, this is an easy, simple gift concept. Uh, if you know anybody that loves tea, you can create this for your hot for the holidays. Um, anybody at your job that loves tea. Um, there's a lot of people that are really, really big fans of tea. Um, this particular flavor is gingerbread. Gingerbread Joy. I don't know if I said that at the beginning of the video or not. My brain cells is not all here today. Uh, but <laughs> um, that is the flavor of this tea. Um, and that's the only flavor I'm using for these two particular concepts. Um, like I said, I'm not going to do a million of these. I just want some extraness at my booth um, to display and out there. Out, either at the booth at the festivals or out there on the streets whichever way whichever area um that's where i'm trying to be at and um with gift concepts i know it's so traditional to make baskets after baskets after baskets but listen here i want attention to my table so i do a few things out of the box out of the ordinary and it's best to do those things ahead of time so therefore you don't have to worry about trying to do difficult concepts or come up with craziness concepts um closer to time for you to go out you know what i'm saying um so i'm just using lots of this time to just be as creative as i possibly can test out the waters make it do what it do um and i'm just trying to get this to be as presentable as i possibly can um as you can see i have one here that's completed however the bag that i have it in is not tall enough uh so I, I don't know if I'm going to order any bags or I may just leave it just like that and leave it open. Because um, honestly, it really does not matter. And the size bag that that, that is, uh, I want to say is 9 by 18, uh, which is not tall enough. So, um, probably should do like a 9 by 20 or something. I'm pretty sure they got something in the area. Um... Well, no, not 9 by 20. It's got to be at least 20 by 24. So, I'm probably going to have to take it up to a 10 by 24 size bag if I so choose to close it up. But honestly, though, I don't think I want to close it because, one, it already has a bow at the top of it. And so, I don't want to put an extra bow on it. Y'all know what I'm saying? Um, so, anywho, with that said, this is the finished product. It's just a little simple tea, Christmas tea tree. Um, and the base of the tree is a mug. Add two little bows at the top or whatever bows that you may have. If you have to create some, that's fine too. Um, I'm just lucky enough to have these on hand um, that I've been using for. Because <laughs> I'm telling you, I bought a whole lot of these. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this brought some festivity to your life. Uh, and thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. We'll see y'all next video. Peace.